This video is sponsored by NordVPN. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to surf the internet without a trace. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys something amazing. So what we're looking over here is the Samsung DeX PC functionality that is available on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, real quick, basically, my phone is being projected onto my computer, my Windows PC, in a desktop-like environment, which is this thing right over here. And what you see in the background is my regular windows, okay? All this is my regular windows, but this window here, the Samsung DeX window, is the Samsung DeX app that is allowing me to use my Samsung DeX that's coming from the Note 10 Plus right onto my Windows PC. And of course, in a minute, I'm gonna show you guys how I can transfer files back and forth from my smartphone, because this is my smartphone, to my PC, and then from my PC to my smartphone. It's gonna be an amazing experience. Now, to accomplish this task, all you need is a regular USB Type-C cable. So one end of the cable connects to my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and then the other end simply connects to my computer's USB port right down over here. Once you do that, there's a couple things you have to do on your PC to get this rolling. So let's dive in and let me show you how to get that done. And I will let you know that this keyboard here and this mouse that is connected to my actual PC is also available to be used with the Samsung DeX window right over here. Now, really quickly, before I show you how to set this up, I do want to show you one thing. So I'm gonna grab this uh, picture right over here, this Audi S5 picture. I'm gonna drag it over to my Samsung DeX environment, which is gonna pop the picture right over here. So real quick, let me go into the gallery, okay? Now, as you can see, my gallery right now is empty. And let's say I have a bunch of pictures on, on my Windows computer and I wanna transfer them over. All I do is drag it and drop it into the Samsung DeX environment. And as you can see, it says moving one item. And then once the move is complete, boom, it pops up right here. This is absolutely fantastic. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, now that you know what's going on over here, uh, to set this up, I'm gonna switch over to my computer and show you uh, everything you can do with the Samsung DeX and also how to set it up on the Windows side. The first step always is to simply connect the cable to your PC and then you come over here and you simply do exactly what I show you. All right, so here's my PC as you guys can see. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna kill the Samsung DeX application. So what you want to do is to go to your browser right over here, and then what you want to do is you want to type in samsung.com slash dex. Once you do that, you'll come to this website right over here. So as you can see, you can download the Samsung DeX app for Windows 7 and 10, and also even for the Mac OS, if that's what you want to do. So I click this one, and it downloaded the application, and then you simply install the application. After the application is installed, all you do is go to your search bar in the windows right at the bottom here and type in Samsung DeX and there's the app, okay? The app is also gonna be found in the Microsoft Store. So once you click this application, it's gonna say to start Samsung DeX, connect your phone to your computer. It's already done, as you know, and boom, there is the Samsung DeX right over here running atop my windows. And like I said, I, look, take a look at this gallery over here. So this is my gallery. Uh, I just transferred one picture a couple seconds ago. That's one photo. Now, if I take these two pictures from my Windows computer and drag them over, it's going to transfer those files, saying move in two items, and it takes a couple seconds. Now, it transferred all those pictures into my actual gallery for today, and you can see them right here. Now, with this one over here, uh, I can actually click on this button to expand, maximize the window, and click it to make it... Uh, windowed mode and I can also minimize it and it goes down right over here. So let me show you around the Samsung DeX environment. And I do want to make it very clear that you can also send and receive text messages from the DeX environment while your phone is connected to your computer. So basically you go to the app drawer at the bottom right over here, okay? And I can just search for my messages just like that. That's my application. And then from here I can send and receive any text message that I want. As you can see, that's my Samsung order telling me it was delivered already so I can respond to that message even though nobody's gonna see that. I can say thanks, but I can actually do this right over here. On top of that, 
I can actually make phone calls. So this phone is not going to work, but I'm just going to click. Uh, let me actually go to the app drawer over here, search for phone. OK, and I can click on this. And again, here's my dialer. I can go to my recents, my contacts, my places. So from the keypad, I can dial any number that I want and I start making calls. What's going to happen is once you dial the number, the phone's speaker phone is going to activate automatically so you can start talking into it. So yes, you can make phone calls and receive and send text messages from this environment. So again, remember, this is entirely my phone. So I can go to my files. And from here, I've got the recent files. Uh, these are the ones that I just played with a couple seconds ago. I can access my images, videos, audio documents right from here from my files. I can transfer back and forth from the PC, from the Windows PC to the actual phone. No problem. OK, so uh, you can go to the Internet Explorer from here so you can actually browse the web. And of course, you can go into the settings of your phone. And these are the Samsung Dex version of the settings in your phone. I can go into Samsung Dex here. I have all these options, keyboard, Dex Labs. You can look at these by yourself when you get the chance. But if I come over here, I can go into the display. Now, as you can see, some of these settings are grayed out because it's smart enough to know that I'm not using the actual smartphone. What I'm using is the Samsung Dex on my PC. OK, now real quick at the bottom here, you can access all your applications. These are all my applications on my actual smartphone. And I'll just give you an example. I'm going to launch YouTube application. And it comes right over here. OK, and then from here, what I can do is I can click any of these videos and they will start playing. OK, and they will and they will, in fact, play the, 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 the music will come through the players of the actual Windows PC. So that's my YouTube application. I can minimize this. It goes down over here. Uh, over here, what I can do is I can click on this button. That's just the recents. That's all my recent applications that I was using on my smartphone or on my Dex. I can click that one more time. This takes you back home. So if I'm in the app drawer, for example, I can click on this button. It'll take me back home. Now that's the back button. So these three buttons here basically mirror all the buttons on your smartphone. The home key, the recents key, and of course, the, the back key. And of course, the recents key, and this is the app drawer right over here. OK, now over here, what we have is we have all our notifications from our smartphone. So I can click on this one here. And these are all the notifications that I have right from my smartphone. Even tells me that the phone is charging right now and it's charged. But over here, I have access to my control panel. So my Wi-Fi, my sound, uh, my my other settings right over here. As you can see, even the battery, I can click on this. It takes me into the battery settings uh, at the bottom here. I can click on this. It'll take me to my calendar. Uh, if I go over here, it will take to take me to my finder. I can search my phone. Uh, I can change the volume from here, as you can see. And this is just giving me uh, showing me that I have a keyboard attached right over here. So this is Samsung Dex. Again, like I said, you can access any app from here and do work on your smartphone. Now, if I were to go into the um, click this button here, the Dex button, I can click on this so I can go into Dex Labs and then I have all these extra options I can play with force apps to resize. That's an option that's available. Uh, it is a beta, so I wouldn't play with it too much, but you can force apps to resize auto open last application. If I click this one more time, I can lock the Dex. So if I click on this, uh, my Dex has been locked. Now, to unlock it, I have to use my phone. So I'm going to go over to my phone right now. I'm basically just going to use my fingerprint. It's going to log me in and boom, it's ready to go. So that's great as well. And here's the gallery again. I just want to open a bunch of windows to show you guys they can also be used uh, side by side. So all these windows can be used in a multitasking fashion. All right. So I can exit out. I can minimize them. And they'll go to the bottom right over here. This is Samsung Dex. Now you can also go to your app drawer and go directly into the Play Store to download other applications. Okay, so you can download any application that you want. Now there's one more thing uh, that's happening over here. By the way, real quick, I'm just going to type in using my keyboard so I can actually download Microsoft Office and that's going to be fully compatible with Dex. So I can do Microsoft related tasks on this Samsung Dex.
application, okay? So I'm gonna X this out for a second. I'm gonna show you one more thing. If you go back to the app drawer, on the top it says check out applications for Samsung DeX. So if I click on that one, uh, it'll take me to specific Samsung DeX applications. So if I scroll to the bottom here, it takes me to the website actually, so let's maximize this. Okay, so if I scroll down, at the bottom it says try these apps in DeX mode. So here's all the uh, work-related applications that are fully compatible with Samsung DeX. Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Adobe, Reader, Office Suite, Hancom, Office, Skype, OneNote, and of course more applications. You can check it on this website here. Now once you're ready to get, grab the application, like I said, you go to your app drawer, you go into the Play Store, and you download whatever you want. You got your mouse and keyboard good to go. Okay, so Microsoft Office. I'm going to click on this one. Click on this one again. Click install. It's going to show up in my computer and on my phone. No problem. Now there's the word application. So if I click on this one, let's see what we see. Click allow. I'm going to sign in later. Let's see what we're going to see over here. So look at that. I can start working on a Windows document right over here. It's not letting me do it because I have to sign in, but I can click on this and start using Microsoft Word as if it was a full PC. And again, if I launch the YouTube application right over here, I can play any video. And if I play this video here, you're gonna hear the sound through the speakers on the computer. So let me just click it real quick and just shut my mouth for a second. Let me skip the ad. So that's the video I'm watching. Now if I maximize this, it'll go like this. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech. And in today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be doing an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. We'll also do a first. So I'm watching that video right on my actual uh, Samsung DeX environment. Okay, so when I'm done, I can click on this. I can even maximize it fully. So this is completely maximized. I can even maximize Samsung DeX. I can click on this one. It'll take the entire screen on the computer. When I'm ready to go back, I go to the top. It says Samsung DeX. I click on that button. It puts me back into windowed mode. Click that, back in business in a windowed mode. Okay, exit out. So it works absolutely fantastic. Now, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. By the way, you can right click here, you can click on wallpapers for Samsung DeX and you can change, you can use a wallpaper from the gallery or you can pick one of these default wallpapers. When I click it, I can say home screen and set the wallpaper and look at that, okay? So that's Samsung DeX for PC. It's also available to be used on a regular monitor with an HDMI input, okay? But this is just a PC version that I wanted to show you guys real quick. Any questions, comments? Drop them down below. For now, guys, have a fantastic day and stay tuned for more amazing videos just like this. So real quick, guys, I know we love the internet, but basically everything that you're doing online is being tracked by just about everybody, including your service provider. Now with NordVPN, your location and your connection can be completely hidden and secured under a military grade encryption so you can surf the web without a trace, whether you're at home or if you are in a public location. So if you care about your privacy and your security, grab NordVPN. It's so secure that it even allows you to trick the system by making it look like you're browsing the web from another country and you could be in the United States, but they will think you are in Germany. So you do become untraceable and hack Proof. Now, if you go to nordvpn.org slash Saki Tech, what you're going to get is 75% off, plus you will get one month free, and on top of that, you're going to be getting a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to lose. Make sure to use the link nordvpn.org slash Saki Tech to get this promotion. The links are also down below, and make sure to act right now, because this is going to be their final sale where you can become untraceable on the web for less than $3 a month. It's worth every penny. All right.